The idea of striving for perfection is extremely limiting. It takes so much energy. In fact, it can actually cause you to move backwards in life. While you're striving to be perfect, what's happening is you are not open or available to opportunities that are more in alignment with your life's path that are presenting themselves for you to move forward. I've learned that recently. Just one of the things I've struggled with is the idea of not being perfect. And I know that has held me back in so many aspects of my life. Now I can look back on my life and see where things have taken me so much longer to move through or navigate through or complete because I had this idea in my mind that I had to be perfect. I remember when I was young and I was a martial arts student, um, it took me so long to navigate through the different ranks because I felt I had to be perfect. I remember my instructor coming to me one day saying, Mark, you're way past due for your black belt test. It's like he would have to push me to do it. There was fear there. And there was the idea that what if I made a mistake? What if I was practicing or performing in front of the judges and I did something wrong or I made a mistake? So I kept practicing and kept working and working and working and time went by. And that limited me because it just focused my energy into this idea of having to be perfect. And because of that, I was foregoing or passing up opportunities to advance, many opportunities to advance, and continue to expand in my skill set. So that was one example. I remember when I was learning to become a pilot, same type of thing. I didn't feel my landings were perfect. My takeoffs were perfect. So I held myself back and continued to practice and practice and practice. Now, this idea of perfectionism, it's something that really comes out of trauma. There's something in your life, if you're feeling like you just strive for perfectionism, there's something in your life that happened that traumatized you, that made you think that you had to be perfect, that you weren't worthy of something if you didn't rise to the level of perfection. It could have been stress or pressure that was put on um, from external people, from people in your life while you were young. It could have been self-imposed pressure. Maybe you just felt like I had to do it perfectly, otherwise I was a failure. So you didn't have any confidence in yourself. You didn't have any self-worth in your abilities, right? So this is one of the things that's been coming up for me lately. This expansion has really given rise to that. And I'm facing these old identities, like this identity in me that says, boy, don't screw up. You have to be perfect. And I know when I started creating content, creating videos and reaching out and helping clients and coaching. That was one of the things that was always forefront in my mind. Have to say the right thing, have to do the right thing, have to look the part. And that, and that, what that does is it really takes you out of being authentic and just allowing the energy to flow, perceiving it and letting your guidance, your messages come through, right? Your connection. So if you're feeling that you want to step out into something new, and it could be like, Maybe you're going back to school or you're in school and you're trying to get a new degree or you're trying to learn a new modality. You're taking a course, but you don't feel like you've learned it well enough or you don't feel like you're a master at it. You don't feel like you're perfect at it. That is an opportunity for you to create space between who you really are, being heart-centered, being in the flow and allowing things to just move through you for the experience and that old aspect of you that says, I'm just not quite ready. I need to perfect this before I move forward. Can you see how limiting that mindset is? How limiting that energy is? It takes you out of alignment, moves you into this very narrow focus of accomplishing this one thing, and all the while, opportunities are passing you by. If you feel like you need to perfect something before you get out and start doing it, you are limiting yourself. You are not available to opportunities. You, Your momentum has slowed down. Your energy flow has slowed down. A lot of the things that we learn come through experience. 
and failure, perceived failure, because I don't believe there really is failure. There's perceived failure, but failure to me really represents a yay, I tried something. I know the old me didn't feel I was quite ready or I screwed up or I did something wrong, right? That's the old me wanting to judge myself. That's an opportunity for me to experience that old aspect to be like, you know what? It's okay. I've let go of this idea of perfection so that I can have these new experiences. And you know what? I learn from these experiences. These experiences help me open up to new aspects of myself. They get energy flowing. They get momentum. I start moving forward. Even if it feels uncomfortable, remember, I used to be one that's like, I got to stay in my comfort bubble until I'm really, really, really prepared. And that would be really way over prepared to take that next step. And that's limiting. Take that next step. If you're learning something new, the best way to anchor and embody that energy and that knowledge and that knowing is to get out and do it. Not keep going over and over and over and in your head trying to figure out any scenario where you think you might mess up, right? There's a difference between being prepared and being perfect. And it's simply mindset. You are prepared when you've accumulated the knowledge to step out into that unknown and navigate the situations and learn from those bumps in the road, right? That's being prepared. Being perfect is holding yourself back until you've ironed out every possible scenario that could go wrong and how you, you know, you'll be able to respond to it, right? Two very different things. One is extremely limiting and one is extremely growth oriented. You get prepared to take the next step and then you take that step and you navigate through the energy, you navigate through the experiences, you make course corrections along the way by getting heart centered, feeling what's going on inside and just making those minor course corrections. That's your higher self nudging you, okay? Your higher self, your guides want you to move. This is a universe of motion. So if there's this business that you've wanted to start, you don't feel like you're quite ready to do it. You've been doing all that back end work, getting your website set up, getting all the, the T's crossed and the, and the I's dotted, right? You're limiting yourself. You have your idea, you have your energy, you know you can move out and get out there and help people. Take a step in that direction. The rest of it will fall in place as it comes. I just moved my whole back end system to an entirely new system, consolidated a lot of things and put it all under one umbrella. And there's been bumps in the road, but you know what? It's okay, right? If a link doesn't work, if something doesn't, doesn't go right, I learn from it, I get in there, I can fix it and I move forward. But if I didn't take that step and get that out there, I wouldn't have been able to reach people and have the experiences that I'm having and help others to expand and well, as well. So don't limit yourself. Don't strive for perfection. Strive to take that step in the direction of what you are wanting to do. That intuitive nudge, that guidance, you wanna start out in a new business, great. Take that step out, start talking to people, start reaching people. The rest of the support stuff behind the scenes will come together as you go. There is no such thing as perfection. It's simply a mindset. If you sat in a mindset of perfection, you are going to expend so much energy looking for things that you've screwed up, okay? Because your ego is always gonna be looking there. Oh, I messed that up, I messed that up. I messed that up. So no matter how perfect you think you are, your mind will find experiences and situations where it felt you were less than perfect. And that just sucks so much energy. Let go of that. I'm working through that. I've been working through that. I know the people I work with, some of them are working through that as well. It's simply energy. It's simply old programming. And it simply just takes a mindset shift to be able to go and let it roll. Go with the flow. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.